Okay, good afternoon. Okay, we will start, we will demonstrate how to apply, you know, especially, you know, the new shapes from uh, the mall with the uh, boron puree. You might be familiar with uh, quite a few of the shapes already, but uh, there's new ones, so we would like to show you those ones. We start on the first page, you know, it's quite a, it's a hot cake, usually. Okay. So it's a sour cream cake with the berries. So for this cake, we made, you know, a compote, a berry compote, which we placed already, you know, in the freezer, eh, which we will be inserted, you know, inside the, in the middle of the cake and then bake it. That's the particularity of this cake. And you will see later when you taste it. So basically, you know, you will make also a crumble. The way it's built is built uh, upside down. So the crumble goes on the bottom, which actually ends up to be the top. Uh, we will place the crumble. So the crumble is quite, quite uh, simple. Uh, you place all the ingredients in a Robocoop or in the a, in a blender. Uh, or with the pecans, the butter, brown sugar, flour and cinnamon. And you place it in a blender and blend it all together. Place it in the fridge and then on the bottom of the mold. Okay, we're going to start creaming the butter and the sugar. Here okay, I have butter, sugar and salt. Cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, sifted all together. Okay, baking soda helps, you know, as you know, you know, baking soda when you have something with an acid, in case, you know, we're having sour cream, it will help in that case. Baking powder helps, you know, with the moisture and the heat. It reacts with the moisture and the heat. So slowly I'll be adding, you know, the eggs. Okay, so we took the idea basically, you know, how we build a cake, you insert, you know, a, a coolie or jellyfied coolie inside the cake. It's the same thing, same process, basically insert it right in the middle of the cake and bake it. And of course, in this case, we don't use gelatin because, as you know, if you place it in the oven, it wouldn't be good. Okay, for the coulis, you know, we had raspberry puree, cassis or black currant puree, orange juice, simple syrup, one to one, with the starch. The simple syrup and the starch together. Bring the purees and the orange juice to a boil, add the starch and cake syrup, bring it to a full boil again. Okay. Then I will incorporate the sour cream and flour to the mixture. To do that, I will separate them, I mean, alternate the sour cream and the flour to keep the texture. First half of the sour cream. passer la farine. Non, non, vas-y. Je vais mélanger. Vas-y. Okay. 
a half of the sour cream again. A little fine. And the other half of flour. And finally, the liquids, which I have whipping cream and whipped, just cream, a little bit of oil, and vanilla extract. Okay, you set the oven at 350. Okay, we're gonna pipe halfway. Sincère. Okay, we'll place in the center the compote. Passe les mots. And then we close it on the top. It can go straight right away to the oven. But I mean, can it sit in a cooler for an hour? Or two? It, it could, it could, but I would not recommend it because of the frozen coolie. You know, the reason you know it, it's if it, your coolie inside is not frozen, you know, when you place it in the oven, if it starts to defrost, then it will come out of the of the dough. And this is why the coolie inside has to be really cold. And around 20 minutes. Somewhere around, depending on the oven.